Okay, um, I had a question that was given to me over um, the uh, YouTube comments, and it was in, in reference to uh, having trouble finding uh, an indirect addressing on big programs. So uh, if you have a big program and you're looking for indirect addressing and you know that it is indirectly addressed from somewhere, the key element to actually finding it is going to um, going to be to cross -re cross reference it look at everything that's destructive um, and look for when an indirect addressing is being used it's always going to be um, well I would say 99 percent used in a move instruction so you want to first look in destructive uh, so you can basically look at all the destructives and compare and say that everyone that's a move you need to check so just go through one by one um, and I know it's a little monotonous but go through one by one and check to see each one of them until you find your indirect addressing point point. Um, and this will help you actually better understand the program and better understand where you're at um, so in this case I'm going to again keep moving down to my next destructive bit um, this this is a move right here this destructive I'm gonna open it uh, it's not it as well so we're gonna keep on going um, then we're gonna there's another destructive bit that's another one we're gonna keep on going that's not it as well so we're just gonna keep on um, move it down um, and this this went through everything, right? So um, we're gonna keep on moving down till we find it. So the next one, I think we did this one. Um, the next one is right here. So this actually shows uh, where the indirect addressing is. The tag that we were searching for was the PLC to motion right here. The indirect address is right here. Uh, reason it doesn't have any values in it is because it's, again it's not off not online I just wanted to show a simple example of how to find that um, because obviously uh, and I am starting from uh, obviously I'm starting from the point of where it, it is but had I had started from somewhere else had I had come right here and said um you know where's this at you know and then I did the same exact thing. I went and opened it up. It would show me right there even the best two results. So um, one's right here. Okay, so this is not it. One's right here. Well, that just showed me my uh, my indirect address and right out right off the gate. So again, it, you know, if if you search in, you know, up here, uh, I'm sorry. Let's go back. I actually uh, actually pressed pressed the wrong thing on that one. So um, let's just go back and cross reference it again and say we were here and we wanted to. Um, well, that's I think that's the same one I actually chose. So let's go back uh, to our cross reference and choose a different one. Let's let's take this down a little bit. Choose a different. Um, move let's just say it was right here um, again this is the tag we we're looking for um, I'm gonna monitor it um, I'm sorry I'm gonna cross cross reference it so I'm gonna go back in there and I'm gonna cross reference that one when I cross reference it it's gonna give me all my moves all my destructives it can be in a spot that is not destructive just know that um, it is primarily going to be in one but it's and it's not sometimes but it will be in a move so uh, we'll just click all the moves um, come back and go back to a cross reference check all the moves again that's not it check the moves again uh, that's not it we'll come back and check the moves again there's only one more and that's it so um, and again that one actually showed that it was not destructive so um, and it depends on if it's actually being written or not written to so 
Uh, in this case, uh, destructive, it's not destructive in this move. However, it is still a move instruction. So um, it is not does not necessarily have to be destructive, but it does have to be um, primarily in a move situation because indirect addressing, um, and I'm not saying you can't do it in other things. I'm just saying 99% of the time, it's going to be in a move and you can easily find it through there. So hopefully that uh, cleared up and this is a large program just like um, what was it you know the question was asked. So I just wanted to kind of you know give a, a rough example and show that to uh, help out um, you know because it was it's kind of hard to answer some of these questions on the uh, comments and stuff so um, it's better just to make a video and show um, exactly what's going on. And again, it helps everybody. So if, if one person's got a question, it's just going to help somebody later on in the road, down the road. So uh, again, we're here to help and um, better everybody. So, you know, the more we know, the more we can help out and grow. So again, so thank you for your support and thank you for, um, you know, being part of the channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. And um, again, I appreciate the support. So I hope everybody's having a good weekend. And um, thank you.